three, two, one. <laughs> hello, YouTuber Wars. So here's a local um, waterfall uh, that you just watched. And it was uh, actually not very far from here. I was riding down the road one day and the car pulled over. Thought he was broken down. And here he is out taking a picture. And I go, oh, wow, look at that, a waterfall. And uh, it was cold and mucky and, yeah, no leaves. And uh, so I'm shooting this uh, video down at Colebrook, um, Colebrook Lake uh, watershed down in Connecticut. And uh, so I was looking for a waterfall to put in with it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, it's going to be added to the show. It's going to give the illusion <laughs> that it was taken at Colebrook just because I need some footage of waterfalls. And um, because the water table is so high that the water waterfalls there are kind of more like dribbly, drabbly, dribbly, drabbly. So, there are some water, a couple of small falls. <laughs> but they're not so pretty to look at as this one. This one's pretty cool. And this one's right on the road. I just could pull up to it and, you know, put my flashes on and cross the road and shoot the video. And I'm done. Get back in my car and drive away. Don't have to walk seven miles inland, which is obviously I'm not doing. Um, I'm hopeful. So... Hi, uh, so here is the, you've already watched the first version. The second version, I'm slowing it down to one quarter speed, just for the fun of it. Uh, the advantage of shooting uh, AVCHD video at 60 frames a minute is you get a little bit more fun out of playing around with speeding things up and slowing things down and not losing detail. Now, if I, my camera went higher than, than, uh, 60 frames of course that's stepping up the game to the thousand dollar camera so i'm content with my you know 89 dollar special i got from ebay <laughs> and i tell you i think it does really good in shooting video and it's really it's really shooting video is about what's up in here the camera is important but it's not as important. You don't need, you know, a very expensive camera. You don't need a very expensive microphone. You don't need expensive lights. I mean, I, everything that I've purchased for my my gear, I've bargain shop. My tripods, I have a good tripod that I got off of eBay. It was ancient, and the ancient ones, of course, are built like tanks. So I was able to pick up a tripod, a good a good uh, uh, tripod for uh, thirty dollars or so, plus shipping. That's that's the toughie, you know. It felt like a tank. It means like it weighs like a tank, but it's a good heavy duty thing that I can put up to almost seven feet high. So, you know, it's worthwhile of a, uh, and it's a video. Um, head so and uh you know the lights i got a good deal on bh and h uh so you know same thing microphone i got this microphone i got a good deal on this microphone because it was packaged with an online game that i never downloaded and uh the game was free but since i was buying with this that's why it's color black you know because it was uh it was aligned up with this, uh, this, this, you know, online game. But I didn't, I'm into those things. I'm more into card playing. So that's what I do. So, <laughs> you know, you just have to look for good equipment at a good price. Um, you know, my, my microphone that I have, the, uh, this one, Uh, the road, I did pay a little bit more for that, but uh, 
you know, it's it was worth it. So you pay a little more for where it's worth it, and you pay a little less when you can. So, anywho, <laughs> this is uh, the same waterfall in slow motion. Actually, uh, the first one I shot on auto exposure. And the second one, I went in and turned, went to manual focus and set it to affinity. So that way it wouldn't sit there and try to bounce back and forth and focus on the leaf and then focus on the waterfall, focus on a piece of dust on the, on the lens. <laughs> so if you're shooting things that, uh, you know, other than a face... Sometimes it's worth taking your camera out and put it into program mode. And then you can also do white balance. And I think I talked about white balance at one point. Either here or there. Either here or on the filmmaker show. But uh, it's good to white balance for exposure. You hold up a sheet of paper in front of the lens. Like if I was doing a white balance right now. Um, I would hold up a sheet of paper in front of my face and hit the white balance key on the your thing and then it would set the exposure, the white exposure to this room light. So it's a little tip. I'm not sure if, I know I've talked about it, but I don't know where. So um, when I do my setup over there, I put a white piece of paper on the chair and once I have my cameras in place and my lights in place, I zoom into that 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, fill the screen up with white, and I hit the custom button for white balance. And I do that on all three cameras. That way, any shots of me or any shots of the background and so forth, all three cameras are going to be matched. So when I go to edit... I don't have to play around with matching color because that could be a real uh, cumbersome thing. And plus you lose quality when you're playing around with adjusting quality. Adjusting colors, you can lose the quality of the rest of the photo shot so, or the rest of the video. And this is more than I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to introduce you, but I have to babble because I just like to babble. <laughs> Look at all that babbling I used to do about growing microgreens. So, here we are. The slow motion. Slow motion. Of the waterfall.
peace for enough for all. Food, water, clothing, health care, housing, education. Peace for enough for all.